Welcome to Eco Ask Why. Today we have an idea episode, and we're trying something new today. We kind of have a, a roundtable discussion, and we're going to be talking about the wood industry. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the wood industry and how we introduce digital marketing into it and how that's making an impact. And so we have two experts with us. We have Ray Tharp, who is the owner and president at RTM Industrial Maintenance. And so welcome, Ray. How you doing today, man? We're good, Chris. Hope you all. Oh, man. It's it's Friday. I'm enjoying it. It's a beautiful day in North Carolina, so this is, it doesn't get any better than that for me. And, uh, there you go. And our second guest, we have Mr. Vadim Kovalev, who is the CEO and founder at Koval Digital. So welcome, Vadim. Thanks for having us today, Chris. It's a, it's a great honor to be here and great to connect with you guys. Absolutely, absolutely. And maybe get us started a little bit. But Ray, just so our listeners will know, where are you guys located out of? We're located out of Dolphin, Virginia. Dolphin, Virginia. All right. That is awesome. And you, Vadim, where are you? I'm in Vancouver in Washington State on the West Coast. So they couldn't get any further apart. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are doing great stuff together, man. And, and maybe get us started with just giving the listeners a little bit of information on, on your backgrounds for both of you and, and how you serve the wood industry. So, Ray, do you, you want to get us started? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, I own of RTM Industrial Maintenance and we are a meal right company. We serve the forest products industry. We come in, we do installation work, maintenance work, troubleshooting. We are a full service maintenance company and we primarily focus in the lumber industry. In the lumbers. I got you. Okay. And how yes, about sir. you, Vadim? Oval Digital uh, is, a, is a digital agency that I've founded and we're providing creative and digital services to industrial companies. I got my start in the wood products industry about 10 years ago and uh, worked for a couple of different uh, companies supplying products to the wood industry. Found it a really cool place to be, traveled the world, North America and abroad to, to go to sawmills. And here I am now telling stories about the industry and very trying to find creative ways to do so. Man, that is so cool. So, I mean, I guess the burning question is how in the world did you two guys connect? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually social media okay we had a uh, one of my one of the individuals in the industry that i follow on linkedin shared a video that vadim had produced which i liked and commented on it and then we started chatting back and forth and next thing you know we found ourselves working together and vadim actually produced some material for me as well to update my website so Man, that's really cool. I, I saw a lot of your videos, Vadim, around the wood industry, and I don't know how many cameras you've broke. I, I'm hopefully it's not many because, I mean, some of them are like, man, you're sitting on a piece of lumber. You're going through a saw, man. That's awesome. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what caught Ray's, Ray's eye because I asked him about it. I'm like, Ray, like, here we are chatting back and forth. And uh, like Ray said, we connected over on LinkedIn, uh, you know, so – I, we produced a video and there was a particular couple of shots in there. Ray, as I remember that we sent some cameras through a saw line and uh, through a gang of saws. Um, and uh, Ray had told me that's what caught his attention. So it works. That does work, man. So, I mean, how, how about you two guys? How are y'all or have you worked together in the past to, to really serve the industry, the wood industry, and bring you know a new new way of looking at it and new information to this industry. Just curious on what's been working for you two. I'd like to jump in on that. So there's many teams like RTM in this industry and they're really hardworking teams. They're producing a great product or delivering an amazing service. And it's just that if you look at the final result, you walk through a sawmill or you look through a sawmill video, that team or those teams like RTM are basically invisible. And so what we're trying to do is tell stories that inform the industry. Hey, these experts, this RTM crew, they're the guys who can actually install the machine that you've purchased from an OEM. So machines don't magically appear and work perfectly at a factory, right? right. And so there's this, there's this element that people don't understand, don't know, and we're trying to shine a light on that. So that's how I would summarize um, our relationship with RTM. We're telling their story. That's great. 
That's great. I mean, and it's a wonderful story too. I mean, just, I, I know just me, I hadn't, I've known Ray from the past, but it's been a while. And then watching his video, I just felt like, okay, all the years between have been erased. I know what he's doing, man. I know what he's up to. I know what he's passionate about. And, and I notice the industry that he's serving and how he's making an impact. So, I mean, it's just, it's wonderful to see that type of material out there, particularly around this industry. And, you know, talking about the industry itself, maybe Ray, you, you may be able to answer this the best. You know, what do you see as some of the biggest changes in the wood industry right now? And, and where do you see it going in the future? I'll tell you, innovation it, it has really amazed me. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going from a lot of manual operated machines into more PLCs, optimization, actually computer guided things. It's, it's reducing the manual labor things are running more efficiently, mm -hmm. cost effective. I mean, it, you know, you hate to say that, you know, we're, we're reducing jobs, but when a company has the ability to be more, you know, more cost effective, it offers better paying jobs. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel the innovation is going to continue to grow. I mean, I'm seeing meals that, you know, when my saw milling days, you know, we had 32 people mm -hmm. to run the meal. And now you've got meals that can run on, eight, nine people really? and, they're more, and they're more efficient just from innovation. And, and it's still a lot, it's still a long ways to go. You know, we still, you're still going to have manual input, but mm -hmm. that that's the impressive stuff to me to see bring these machines online. They just run themselves, so to speak. So is it like, you know, we, we do a lot in, with the pulp and paper and a lot of that stuff is they're upgrading old equipment. Is that the way it's working in this, in the wood industry? Is it upgrading equipment or is it literally bringing in new equipment? Yeah, we do a little bit of both. I mean, we've done complete, you know, complete meal builds. Uh, I'd say maybe 60% would be equipment replacement. And that's just nature. The machinery wears out. Right. And the customer naturally, they need to, you know, upgrade it. Just like, just like you buy a car. Right. You know, after so many hundreds of thousands of miles, you got to, you know, you got to start over. That's so. right. That's right. No kidding, man. Now, how about for the listeners out there? And, and, and Ray, you may be this one, but, but Vadim, also you perceptions around the industry and and some some people when they think of wood industry they may have this vision in their mind and it's not always good so anything you guys like to just knock out the park right now around the wood industry well i'd like to just say that trees are renewable right it's a renewable resource and um just the fact that companies that are harvesting and using and processing the wood it's in their best interest to replant the forest, to manage the forest as well, um, to make sure that the future generations have wood to work with. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can see that from the side going out there to all these different sites, but Ray, you've got some hands-on experience with that. Well, it, you know, typically the logger and the sawmill has kind of gotten, a, I'd say maybe a bad reputation. People think that, you know, we're robbing the natural resources and not replenishing and that's that's not how it works you know uh, and in fact it's so much so many other products that come from the wood industry other than just building materials and paper you know it, you know additives to like toothpaste peel coatings things like that it, it, this industry provides a lot to everyday normal life and you know when I was solving a log and we always took our, you know, did our best effort to be stewards of the land, not try to tear things up. And then of course, managing the timberland, replant, setting things up for the next generation. You know, it's, it, it's really no different than uh, farming now. Right. Very true. Very true. I mean, I think you guys are all over it. I mean, uh, it's, it's hard work, but it's good work and it's meaningful work, you know, and it's, you know, that, that whole piece around, uh, the, the land management and the wood. I, I'm, I'm so glad you guys went there because I think that's such a big misperception of people when they think about the wood industry, you know? So, Absolutely. you know, when you talk about, you know, we, we, we're calling this the, the wood product and, and digital marketing, they, the world's coming together. So, Ray, you know, you, you've reached out, you started working with Vadim. Uh, how has embracing that digital marketing, you know, really helped your business? I mean, from a from an ROI standpoint. Yeah, well, we've just started releasing the footage that Vadim made for us. And, uh, you know, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback from our peers in the industry. And, uh, 
In fact, two days after I posted the installation video that he produced, we got a phone call. Oh, yeah? My mill owner saw it on LinkedIn, called me, wanted to meet, wanted to do the same type of installation, and we're currently working on we're currently working on put, uh, getting a date together to actually do the job for them. So uh, return on investment so far, so good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. Well, man, how did that make you feel, Vadim? Was that a hanging on the rim moment for you, man? Yeah, totally. When uh, when we talked originally with Ray, that was the idea, right? That's the goal. And then when Ray gave me a call and gave me that news that he's actually got uh, a lead that's, you know, definitely there's people interested, but this is a particular project that's the answer that he's been looking for and somebody's actually interested in uh, now hiring RTM. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? We're telling the story so that people see it. And uh, when Ray called me, I got goosebumps. I was like, Ray, that's incredible. I love it. Tell me more. That is awesome. Now, how did they find it? Was that on a uh, LinkedIn video? It is. It's on LinkedIn. I haven't, we're still in the process of revamping the website. And then once, once we get those building blocks in place, then it, the site's going to be built around what the Dean produced for us. Yeah. But I think, I, I know for me, it's your social media presence. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing so much of what you guys are doing together on social media. I mean, that's a big audience. I mean, as your audience is growing and you're getting the, the, the followers, I'm sure that's going to make, make that much more of an impact for both of you. That's, it's just awesome. I mean, you know, Vadim, when I look at your videos, man, I just, every one of them, I stop now and I'm just watching them. Like the one you did, um, there was a plant, Jordan Lumber. That yes. was a really cool one that you did. So, you know, what have been some of the best footages you shot so far, man? I am curious. How many cameras have you gone through? <laughs> Let's keep that a secret. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, you know, as far as shooting the shooting these uh, videos, what I really enjoy, and when I go there, out, when I go out in the field with my team, it's really not about shooting like the most we can. It's really about sitting down there and thinking and walking and looking at the machines and kind of sitting there and watch the process for a little bit until I'm like, okay, well, if I put a GoPro down underneath an outfeed of a particular machine, it's going to be what I call a money shot, hmm. where it's a 10 second clip that's super unique that right. people are going to find very interesting and, and, and eye catching. But also I'll just give you a recent example. Last week I posted a, um, a shot that we took on top of a particular piece of wood going through a big bandsaw. Right. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the camera got within a couple inches from the blade, that's just going to town and cutting off this big chunk of wood and cutting a board it gets really great engagement on LinkedIn. Uh, people are really excited about seeing stuff like that. And then they're, they're saying, Hey, we make a particular machine. We want to, we want you guys to come out and show our machine and show the process really. So to summarize, just the footage that I love capturing is that what puts you in like this perspective of I'm going through the machine. Yeah. And that's been really unique. It's kind of like our staple move at this point, I guess. Now, are you sitting on the side, like uh, chewing your fingernails and with your fingers <laughs> crossed? Like, please don't tear my camera up. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise, we, we watch the process enough where we're feeling pretty confident that um, the way we want to set it up shouldn't be a problem. That's cool, man. And I think I even saw you're doing some overheads. So are you guys using like drones for some of your footage? Definitely. Yeah. We're flying drones inside of these mills where space allows, uh, definitely tighten some areas and then outside, of course, showing some aerials. There's a lot of moving pieces and it's really hard to just get a ground perspective. Like when Ray was lifting up a big machine and putting it into the factory, I mean, yeah. Ray, you guys tore the whole roof off of that one building. And, uh, it's, it's just a whole unique perspective to see the crane and, and lifting the big heavy metal and putting it, setting it in place through the open roof, like definitely a drone. That is so cool, man. That is awesome. That's awesome. So, you know, and maybe Ray too, when, when you're thinking about the stuff that you want to start building, you mentioned RTM, you're getting ready to kind of go through your website to get redesigned. When you think about content that you, that's going to bring you value and bring you those leads, you know, videos are definitely working. Are there any other areas you're looking at, like newsletters or blogs or just, just anything in general that to try to get them even more buzz out there about what you do? Uh, grass, trying to get people's, you know, catch people's attention. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the biggest thing, and that was the purpose of the videos. 
yes, we've had some talks of maybe starting a blog, things of that nature, but more or less, like I said, we're going to take the content that the Dean has produced for us. And the biggest thing we wanted to do, he, he commented on, you know, we're kind of that invisible entity over here. We come in, a lot of people don't know who we are or what we do. And I have a, a question that's asked me all the time, well, what is it that you actually do? And that kind of got me going, well, wow, you know, how do we showcase that? Uh huh. And that's what led into conversations with the Dean. And then, of course, what his guy, him and his guys have done, I couldn't have asked for a more perfect of a job. I mean, they, they, they hit the home run. No we, doubt. we did hard work, but they made, they made us look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> no doubt. Now, Vadim, do you do other things too, from a, from a digital marketing standpoint point that you're working on with, with, uh, end users like Ray and, and, and to try to support the markets so from, from a, like blogs or, or newsletters, things like that too. Yeah. You know, so we're looking at, uh, I started when I was doing these videos on my own without a team behind me supporting the effort, I was really just doing a uh, video. And now the, you know, the video is definitely uh, just one of the services that we're offering. And I'd be happy to talk to folks about doing anything from your website to make sure you're ranking on Google with SEO. Um, marketing campaigns and just of other, a lot of other things that um, are really valuable for folks that are a service provider like Ray or specifically the OEMs who build a machine. Um, my, back, my background is engineering in this product in the wood products industry. Uh -huh. And so using some of those um, CAD skills and whatnot, we're able to really create these unique 3D models of machines and whether it's you know making an animation and using that in a video form, or now even we're pushing the boundaries in creating these models that are embedded right on people's websites. And so we are able to take um, like a CAD model of a machine and make it animate and then put it right into your website. Oh, cool. Man. So there's some really neat applications to digital marketing across the board beyond just video. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, I've I've been noticing Ray uh, some things that come out and, and they're tied to you, but it's it's a manufacturer, and you don't have to help me with the name uh, of 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 equipment. It looks like you're installing a lot of. Are they local to to the area? Where, uh, you're referring to McDonough. That's it. What those guys? So uh, I see you're 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 working with them a lot. Is that a, a has that been a good partnership? There. They're based out of Euclid, Wisconsin. Okay. And then they also have a uh, they have another factory in Canada. I got And you. we developed a very very close working relationship with those guys through the, in the last couple of years. Just that we installed their equipment and they needed some help with something else, and it just the relationship grew and grew and grew. Uh, we we contract to them a lot and. Yeah. We work hand in hand together. They've been very, very, very good partner. That's for us. cool, man. I just noticed I've seen a lot of stuff, kind of like following you a little bit. Of I've learned a little bit about their company, and, and it looks like they're embracing, you know, videos and, and definitely you know articles and pictures and things like that. And I think it's just really cool to bring, you know, that type of information about the industry out there in, in the public. So, man, I, I was just curious on the tie there. You yeah, know. So so relationship that has just developed over time. I mean, we, we, we look out for each other. <laughs> We're all in it together. I mean, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, you know, what's really interesting is once we got the RTM videos, uh, out there, uh, we're actually now just returned back from a, from a trip, um, where we were capturing McDonough equipment. And, um, so that was totally kind of, a really natural progression where yeah. Ray had brought us in and they were installing a McDonough piece. And then uh, now we're actually doing some content work for the equipment manufacturer. And cool. that was, that was the shot that I have, was talking about where we were really close to a bandsaw. That was just last week. Yeah. It kind of came full circle right there, man. That's great. Completely. Completely. Now, how about the platforms that you guys are focusing on? You know, I definitely see you on LinkedIn you know, what met are what are you measuring to see what's working and to see what people are, are, are really enjoying or engaging with and it's helping you. I mean, are there any metrics that jump out that you say, Yep, this is what this is what people want and they I need to do more of that. 
You know, it's been, what's been really neat to see the engagement. So behind the scenes, we can see uh, how many people actually like saw the content. Uh, not everybody hits like, not everybody comments, but you can definitely see that there's on some pieces that are specifically shorter. I, I'm finding people are uh, really uh, wanting to see them and then move on. Others do hit like, and others even comment like Ray. So it goes, goes in all directions. For sure. For sure. Well, guys, this has been so much fun. I mean, I think just bringing out, you know, your passion for the wood industry and, and we call it eco S why, why is the hardest show? So, you know, we'll give you each a chance to answer this if you will, because I'd love, love to get your, your, both of your perspectives, but you know, why are you so passionate about this wood industry that you're serving and, and, and why do you feel like embracing this digital marketing piece help, is helping each other? you know, bring that realization to the world, man. So, uh, Ray, you want to start us? Sure. Hey, Chris, I, you know, I'm fifth generation logger sawmiller. I was born and raised in this, grew up in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where my natural love for the business comes from. And then uh, being able to take a career worth of knowledge that I have learned, some things taught, some things just doing things the wrong way, the hard way, and to be able to get out here and, you know, extend a service to help people and, you know, to feel the general appreciation for when you do good for somebody. It, that's, that's what gets me going daily. It just to get out here and help people. I love it. I love it. How about you, Vadim? Chris, you know, for me, I got to summarize it in, in one word. It's storytelling. You know, storytelling, it's, not about me and my crew and how great our cameras are, how close we can get the cameras to a saw or up, up in a drone, but it's really more about completely about the, the group of people we're working with, the folks that are super passionate about what they're doing, you know, the results, the fruit of their labor. So when we got together with RTM, man, I was so proud to work on that project just because we're telling a story and we're really making an impact. Mm -hmm. And it's all about that. It's about how RTM makes an impact to their customer. And we're totally behind the scenes. It's just RTM serving their customer. And then the final product, And when the final customer, you know, on camera is able to say, wow, we're really, we're really proud of the work that RTM did. And, and that testimony on video, it's kind of like on demand, right? So mm -hmm. a lot of times uh, to get a reference, it's word of mouth and you have to call the other person. Well, with video specifically, we're able to capture that story and a satisfied customer is your best salesperson. That's right. That's right. I mean, this is, that, you are all over. I mean, Ray's passion, your passion, when those worlds collided, it was bound to be good things that come out of it, man. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it really, it really has been. And, uh, I thank you both for, for what you're doing, you know, for industry. We're all about serving industry, too. We serve a lot of industries. The wood industry is one of them, for sure, and I think we're very passionate about it. You know, I used to, you know, Ray, you you know, man, I used to run around those those that neck of the woods and oh, yeah. calling on those saw mills and Arbor Tech and a lot of those mills. I used to, Morgan Lumber and those guys, and uh, it just brought back a lot of good memories, man, when I think about the, the wood industry, and I just hopefully this will help you know, bring some education to some people about the wood industry and, and maybe light a fire in them to, uh, to pursue it in the future, man. So this has been a lot of fun we'll, we'll, for our listeners. We'll put links in our show notes so you can connect directly with RTM. You can con connect directly with Vadim and his company. And, uh, so you'll have all their resources there too, man. So guys, thank you so much. This has been a blast. Absolutely. Bye -bye. Thanks for having us on the show, Chris. Absolutely. Thanks so much for your team. Absolutely, man. It was it's the honor is all is ours, guys, and uh, we we wish you both the best in the future. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit ecosy.com. That's E-E-C-O. 
A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.